we we look at the seven counties, three in Kansas and the, the four in Nebraska, and you look at the USDA reports, you know, there's in excess of 107 million bushels of grain produced every every year. So that's 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 a lot of corn, you know, beans, milo, and, and wheat that are that are produced in the in that area. So, you know, the railroad is is still relevant. If it wasn't, we wouldn't be talking to you. And if the elevators all said, you know, some might as well just tear it up. We we wouldn't be talking to you. But that's not the case, you know. This railroad is still very, very relevant uh, uh, to to the communities, to the counties, and to the cooperatives. So, well, I think we're all in agreement with that. Uh, I think we're we're very excited, and we're willing to work with you in any way we can. It's just some of the finer details that need to be worked out, like who administers the grant, that type of thing. Yeah, no, we no, we we understand, and it, and I think as Libby socialized, certainly, if 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 Cheyenne County took the lead as far as the administration, we you know through this whole process, we will make you whole on any expenditures. You know, we don't we don't want it to cost the county anything. We want to make sure you'll be reimbursed, and as Libby indicated, you know, we'll have the ability to. Make the reports up. I mean, uh, the grant itself, Libby will author that, and basically it will be uh, if it's Cheyenne County that will uh, administer it. I mean, it'll just be she'll get it to you, and you push the the button to uh, send it. And so, um, yeah, it's not like we're going to just drop things into your lap. Yeah, that's what we're you kind know, of afraid of with our limited resources and our our, our limited manpower, especially right now. Um, yes, and, and added burden would be kind of detrimental <coughs> to us right now. But I think we're all open to to helping you out. Uh, we'll we'll have some discussions afterwards. But would you please sure. let us know what you find out in the city of Franklin? And uh, yeah, we'll we'll continue down this path, and I think it's all positive. Uh, well, we appreciate that, uh, and I do know. I, I mean, you know, in the times we visited, and, and obviously we spent a lot of time uh, with with Dale Weeks over in Wheeler and, and Doug Ross here in St. Francis, and 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 we know you folks get it. We, we really do. And uh, so, anyway, again, we can't stress enough that this whole process will will, will not be a burden. I mean, uh, again, you know, we'll have the manpower. And, and again, uh, to get this stuff done, and then make and then make Cheyenne County whole if if indeed you take the lead on the administration of it. So uh, that's I can't be clear about that. So okay, well we appreciate that. Well, and we'll have some further discussions, and we'll be in contact. And if you come up with some more information, uh, would you please please let Scott know here? Sure. In Cheyenne County, that way he can disseminate that information. So are all sure. counties going to be co-applicants? No, he's no. looking for one. Just, well, I thought there was an applicant, a lead applicant. That's what they're asking of Cheyenne. I know, but is, are the rest of them going to be co-applicants? Oh. It, did you hear the question, Tim? There would be. Yeah. Um, so um, bear with me a second because this gets a little complicated. Is one of the big areas that we always go after is elected officials, state DOTs, letters of support from everybody involved. So we would definitely want a letter of support from all the different counties um, that are along the right of way. I guess the part that I have not done, and I, the reason I reached out to John Maddox um, yesterday, is to come up with what does a co-app, what are the responsibilities of a lead applicant and what are the responsibilities of the co-applicant? And I apologize that I do not have a list of what those responsibilities include. So um, I, I will get that to you and then you can see the difference. Um, we would want a letter of support from every single um, 
element of government is what they, you know, every single unit of government along the corridor is certainly we would like a letter of support that they're in favor of this project. And that goes a long way with making sure that um, there's not going to be any um, objection to the project should we win and be funded, because uh, nobody wants to end up having to give money back because there's objection, a community objection, right? So um, the short answer is I don't have a um, requirement for a co-applicant other than a letter of support unless there's something that you would desire to have included in that co-applicant letter, but we're open to whatever structure you would suggest. Okay, very good. Well, we will keep in contact. Do you guys have anything else you'd like to ask? All right, now, no. Let's do it. <clears throat> no, I have no further questions. Okay, we do appreciate your call and, and your interest. Dave, no, thank you. Thank you for taking the extra time. Sorry we ran so over our a lot of time. Uh, it so caused no problem it. here, so we're good. All right, well, we'll be talking to you at a later time. Okay, thank you. Thank have you. A great, Thanks. Have a great day. Bye-bye. That's over 14 million bushels. They're all out of, not right out of here, but the right. entire line. It's a lot of bushels. What's your thoughts on being a, the lead? As long as we can ensure their cooperation with all of the preparation, et cetera. Um, the other question I should, probably should have asked is, you know, is the, the cost of the audit the responsibility of the county to come through this 2%? that they would be paying for administrative costs. Um, because just like the PBC audit, that was, what, 19000 mm, Yes. I mean, yeah. does that audit come out of the grant monies, or does it come out of the administrative costs? I mean, they're, they're fine details. Um, I mean, it's a worthy project, don't get me wrong. It is. Um, and I'm excited to finally see it coming before you. But, I mean, I've, I've just got a few questions, and I'd kind of like to see that information that she's getting this afternoon as to the true responsibilities, because the things that concern me is, you know, all these monies coming into the county, and the disbursements of those monies correctly and timely. Yeah, how much, how much of our manpower are we going to have to tie up into this project? They kind of indicated that they would do all the work and she used the term, all we'd have to do is push the button to send. I would hope that would be the case, but you know that's that's kind of unrealistic. Well, I, I'm pretty sure they're going to do the biggest part of the work because grant writing is pretty important and they're going to do all the well, load I, work. I guess what I want to avoid is, is adding another load onto... Yeah, we don't need to add a load, you're right. ...to someone else. And that's that was my first thing was holy crap but we've already gone through a five million dollar project and this can be doing that. Right. Yeah we're yeah. And boy have we learned a lot of lessons through it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that's not fun but it's it can but be it, doable. It would be nice to to get a hold of that two percent to I'm surprised they I think we probably Cheyenne County showed as much interest as any county getting this thing right. Oh, I'm sure because Dale Weeks has been pushing. And so is hard. Yeah, and the reason they're pushing is they're paying. I think Dale Weeks. I, I don't quote me. I think they pay over ten thousand a year just for leasing the ground the elevator sets on. Yeah, I know there's and, a big added cost to co-op down here pays way more than that because they got two facilities. Yeah. And that goes on every year, whether you have elevator service or not. Yeah. They don't own the land those elevators set on. The railroad does. And all the elevators in Bird City, they pay a lease every year, and it's big money. And yeah. get no service. Yeah, we haven't <laughs> had rail service for a while. <laughs> It'd be nice to get that going again. That'll alleviate a lot of our truck traffic. <coughs> 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 <coughs>
why, why was it shut down initially, anyway? I, I think they were just claiming no <coughs> profit. Um, the line that originally owned it, they they saw it as a more of a liability. Yeah, uh, you know. Well, they needed to do a lot of work on the line, and they weren't going to get a grant. Yeah. Now this outfit can get a grant. To didn't they initially refuse to sell in the first place? And they had to go through some government entities to put a little pressure on them. I think so. They're making big bucks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Big bucks. And not any expense. Yeah. I mean, they yeah, would they get 100000 a year, just... Here, take it. Do nothing. All right, well, I, I think it's a good, worthy project. Just some fine-tuning and some answers. Yeah, I don't know whether we want to be the lead. But it seems like all the counties would be the co-administrators. Or well, the monies can only go to one place. That's right. But but you uh, seem like everybody ought to sign it as a co-applicant. Because you got a lead applicant and a co-applicant. Why is all the counties getting involved? I mean, it looked better as a grant. Well, I'm sure they will. They'll, they'll put their support in. All they're really looking for is somebody to administrate the, that grant. I don't know. I guess we'll, we'll table it and come back to it when we have more information. I'd feel more comfortable with that because, like I said, I, I don't know enough about it. Yeah. And I, I probably never will. We're having to rely on their good faith for a lot of this. Okay. Ready for me to call Eddie? Let's take a break for about 10 minutes here. <laughs>